Today we're going to do a quick video tutorial on using the text tool. Text tool is found on the left hand side of your tool palette. I have a preset canvas which is 10 inch by 10 inch at 250 pixels and I'm just going to select the T and somewhere on my canvas I'm going to press the clicker. Now I'm going to type out my name and right now my font is set to this font right here. If I want to change that, I just double click in the box, highlight it, and make sure that I go over here and use my drop down menu. And as I scroll down, it changes my text in real time. Best thing to do is experiment with different fonts that you like. For this case, we'll go with this font. Let me zoom in here for a second. All right, right now my font is solid purple. If you look down here on the left-hand side, I've got two of these circles are filled with purple, and so is this little circle here. We're gonna get back to that in a second. A couple options for this. There is an underline option over here, which will just place a line underneath. This is the size again of my font. Typeface sometimes will give you more options. This one only gives you a regular option, but sometimes it'll give you bold or italic. And we are worried about kerning. Now kerning is the spacing between your letters. So if I were to drag the kerning slider to the left, I have a very congested lettering system here. I need to make sure that's more balanced. So I'm just gonna drag it right until it's got a nice balance and space between the letters. Your stroke is the size of the outline around your text. So if I lower this stroke all the way down, you'll see that my text becomes a little bit more tight and smaller. I can change my stroke size, but first I have to undo and unselect my font. I can come up here and unselect my font here. When I go back to it, I can now change the stroke color by clicking on the circle and coming over here. Let me make it a little bit larger so you can see it. Coming over here to my colors, there's different ways to choose colors. I prefer the crayons. And I can go ahead and plop in the color that I like from my outline. And I can also change the color of the inside of my font by coming to the inside of this color wheel and clicking on it, and then changing the color as needed. When I'm done, I'm just gonna slide this over, click and drag, and select off of my font. Now, if I want to add a drop shadow to this font, I'm going to go to one of my little tools down here. I'm just gonna click the first one. And as you can see, my menu over here has changed. It gives me some options. I want to go down to the little circle with the shadow underneath. It gives me a shadow option. If I click on this, I'm sorry, you have to have the text selected. Let's try that again. There we go. And I'm going to go back to my tool. If I click on the shadow, it will pop a shadow behind this. Now this is easily adjustable by this little menu over here. If I want to move my shadow around, I can click and drag it anywhere around my font that I want. And if it's too crisp and too tight and I want to blur it, I can drag the blur option to the right and make my font look as if it's coming off of a page. If I would like to change the color of my actual drop shadow, let's make this for this case maybe a purple. I can come over here to the box, click the box, and change it to any color that I desire. This gives you many, many options when you're dealing with font and font is very important when you're dealing with good graphic design and good layout. These are a couple options. Play around with these. Remember to access this vector shapes. You have to click on your tool and make sure your, your text is selected. And other than that, you can always go back to your font and change all of these options that we had earlier, as well as the stroke option, which I would like for you to get familiar with. All right. Have a great day.